Hey guys, um, I wanted to make you a video really quick um, about brushes, clearly. Um, I wanted to show you how to pinch your brush. So some people may call it crimping, some people may call it pinching. Um, when I was introduced to the method, I was told that it was called pinching. So um, that's the vocabulary that I'm going to use. But like I said, it's also called crimping your brush. There may be other names for it, but those are the two that I hear most frequently. So I wanted to show you the difference between a crimped brush and um, a non-crimped brush, which is how the brush comes. It comes um, in a package of this sort. This is a size 20 brush. This is a size 16 brush. And this is a size 18 brush. The one that I'm holding right now, this is a brand new brush, and this is a size 16. Usually they say them on the handle. This is just a handle cover. Okay, so it's a size 16. And it is not pinched. So pinching, what you're gonna do is you're gonna pinch right here. There's a reason why, I'm gonna show you why now. Excuse my nails, guys. I just got done on Facebook Live doing these nails. Make sure you follow my um, Facebook page, guys. It's C-Tones Acrylic. That's S-E-A-T-O-N-E-Z Acrylic. C-Tones. So I'm going to show you this 16 brush is not crimped. The barrel of it is round, right? This brush, the bristles are supposed to come to a point. So it's wet right now, but the bristles are supposed to come to a point. But an acrylic brush is best used when doing nails as a more fanned out brush. That's how you're gonna get the desired bead. The brush has to be fanned out, not coming to a point. So to achieve the brush being fanned out, you're going to need to pinch it. You're going to have to crimp it. So this is a crimped brush. You see the barrel of it? You see those marks right there? It's crimped. It's very lightly crimped. You can barely see a difference. It's very lightly crimped, but it is pinched. As to get that fanned out, brush so i'm going to show you another pinched brush and this is my favorite brush it's the brush you guys always see me use on live my favorite acrylic brush this is my baby i've had it for six years this is also pinched very very lightly you can see the marks very very lightly but it's pinched you can barely tell the difference but this is not a pinched brush this is a size 16. So these I got from Dollar Tree. The long nose plier. Um, I found these at Dollar Tree a couple months ago. Um, but they weren't the best and they were the only ones that they had. And I haven't seen them at any Dollar Tree since. So I, I saw these recently and I decided to buy like 10 of them just in case. <laughs> So you can find these I found in the toolbox, the household toolbox. So there's different ways to pinch your brush. I'm going to pinch this one. This is a size 18. So it's best if you wet your brush. I feel it's best if you wet your brush before you pinch it. Because they are hardened, normally with a substance like starch. So you'll have to clean it with um, monomer and acetone anyway. Do not use too much acetone on your brush or 
you risk damaging it, damaging the bristles. So as you can see, I'm trying to flatten, flatten this brush. Uh oh, I'm trying to flatten this brush. That's not how it's supposed to go. It'll always return to this shape. So I'm going to take my pliers. And I'm a girl, so I may not even be holding them correctly, but I'm going to show you how I do it. This is how you want to position your pliers. You want to pinch the tip. You don't want to pinch this part. You want to pinch the tip, right below the tip. So take your brush. Position it right in the middle of the pliers. There you go. See what happened? And don't use all your might, but just start pinching. Check your brush. The question now is, is it still a complete circle or is it a tad bit oval shaped? And if it's not, if it's still a complete circle, the barrel right here, go back and this time go a little bit higher. You guys see where I'm positioning? Go a little bit higher up on the brush. And again, in the same spot, squeeze. Not with all your might, just a tad bit. And complete that, co I'm sorry, repeat that step. Until your barrel is more of an oval than a circle. You see the marks right there? I did it a couple times so you see it a little bit more. So now my brush will flatten and stay flattened. It will no longer return to the pointed tip. And it should be a sharp, come to a sharp point. And that's how you pinch a brush. So I'm going to pinch one more for you guys. This one I'm going to pinch on Facebook Live. So I have to keep this one in shape. I'm gonna pinch this brush, it's a size 20. It's old, so I may have to cut this off. So if you're ever gonna cut this piece off of your brand new brush, be very, 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 very careful as to not cut the bristles.
And this one's not as hardened as the last one. So this brush I got from a beauty show a few years back. It was on sale. It was maybe like $5. And normally, well, this one I got at a show as well. And this one was $20. So normally, they're anywhere from $24 and up so I got this one for like less than ten dollars so I had to get it but I haven't used it so I'm not going to clean it with any acetone or any monomer um, since it's flexible and I'll be able to tell if it fans or not without it being wet so I'm going to grab my pliers again my Dollar Tree pliers I'm going to squeeze the tip, not with all my might. I'm going to check my brush out. And it's still a little round to me, so I'm going to pinch it just a little bit more. Not even as much as I pinched it the last time. I'm going to go to the same exact spot because I kind of can't go any higher. So now it looks more of an oval, the barrel. I'm going to wet it. And now you see it fans out to a sharp point. Perfect now for acrylic. Of course, I still have to uh, do a thorough cleanse because um, I only dipped it in a little bit of monomer. So I'm actually going to have to really clean the starch that they put on it. Sometimes they put cuticle oil, um, um, monomer. They'll dip it in monomer and let it harden. Um, so whatever's in your brush, you may not even know. Make sure you clean it out. So there goes another pinched brush. So I hope this video helped you. Um, these are the pliers from Dollar Tree. I found these laying around the house. Um, I used these a couple weeks ago to pinch a brush. They weren't my favorite, but even these will work. These are also I got from Dollar Tree. So check in your Dollar Tree store near you <clears throat> for some pliers. So thank you guys for watching the video. If you like the video, make sure you like it. Subscribe to my videos. Um, also, watch me on Facebook. Um, I'm also on Facebook Live very often. Um, follow my page, C-Tones Acrylic. It's C-Tones, S-E-A-T-O-N-E-Z, C-Tones. So I said it slow. So just rewind it if you need to figure it out again. Thank you guys for watching.